it's like 38 degrees right now, there's no sun and no wind. But we're in Italy and I want to go through a what's in my bag. You can clearly see that it's in front of me purely because when there's a lot of tourists around, a lot of pickpockets come out and I'm not trying to get pickpocketed. So I kind of don't like to have nothing in my pockets, fill out my bag with a daily essentials and I like to keep it minimal as well. So let's go through it. So I had to come inside because doing a video in 38 degrees is not it. So first of all, I want to start off with the bag. Now this is my coach bag that I've had for probably like over three, four years now. Uh, this is the older season, so you're not going to find this particular one, but I've seen some newer ones like that looking pretty decent that I might have to upgrade to. It still carries everything that I need to while traveling. Uh, and also I haven't, have, I haven't really had any complaints. It's not really gone through some major wear and tear. And I can see myself using this for the next couple of years still. Unless I feel like it's time for upgrading and just getting something a little bit more bigger and probably a different type of uh, different type of bag to carry. But it's got plenty of pockets for me to put various different things here. It's got the front pocket, the main entrance there. My favorite thing about this is the pocket that's at the back, which is closest to me. Uh, I don't like to put nothing too big in there, otherwise you know, it's just gonna feel weird when it's against my chest. And then just zip it up and no one's even gonna notice there. This also has like an easy clip on and off strap. If I wanna quickly just take it off, if I wanna change how it sits on, I can just clip on and off this bag here. Yeah, and it, and it hasn't failed me since. It's still quality leather and I will definitely still be using this for the foreseeable. Now moving on to probably like the second most important thing in this bag, I like to use this as an all-rounder thing for creating content and this is my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I've done a video on it previously in which I'll tag above going through how I like to organize my phone. I've got in different types of focus modes just to suit the time of the day. I don't really like to use it too much and my screen time ends up being crazy high. But for the most part, while I'm out in Italy, I've been using it for doing any videos, any photography when I don't want to carry a big camera like my Sony and then use it to go on Lightroom, edit the photos I've done, may even use CapCut to edit a video, which I've actually recently shot a YouTube video on that and was edited on CapCut. So it's kind of like an all-rounder for me. And I've released some wallpaper packs that I've taken with my camera when I'm out for uh, doing photography in different countries that I've actually visited. So if you want to take a look, check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. Now, staying on the topic of Apple devices, my iPad mini 6 is probably like a mini computer for me. Uh, if I'm in a particular place, I like to take this out, do any general documentations, I'll just hotspot it because I don't have the cellular version, but I don't think that's even necessary to even have that. And yeah, I just love the fact that it's so lightweight. I can hold it in one hand, uh, easy for me to just put it in my pocket. I can even put it in like a, a, my, one of my track seat pockets on. That's how kind of convenient and nimble it is. Right now I've got the wallpaper pack on my iPad. If you can guess who this is, drop it down in the comments. Now I've been a big fan of the Apple Air Maxes, but in this case, I don't have them today, purely because they're just not nimble enough to fit in my bag. So the best alternative is the AirPod Pros. It still has great noise cancellation that kind of matches up with the AirPod Pro Maxes. Doesn't really leak any noise. And this isn't something that I'll be changing anytime soon. It's still keeping that world going strong. And even if the new ones come out, unless there's something significantly great about them, I don't think there's a real reason for anyone else to just change unless you just want to keep up to date with the latest products or whatnot. But this is going strong so far and I'll always have this with me. Given that for the most part I use my iPhone for pretty much a lot of the content that I like to create, if it's from taking videos, photos, etc. This here is like a nice little addition that I like to carry with me just in case I want to, you know, get a bit more creative. And this is a clip on fish eye lens. So I just simply just get my iPhone, hold it over and then it will have that fisheye lens look. It's just easy, nimble. I can't remember where exactly that I got this from. I think it was like a gifting in a, in a, in a bag and it was various different lens because you can actually screw this one off and then change it with a different one as well. So I think this is nice, clean and convenient in order to get like a, a different type of look to the content that I actually create. Moving on, while I'm traveling, I like to keep myself entertained and the best way to do that is my Nintendo Switch. Now, and this isn't a protective case, but I wouldn't necessarily carry this and put this in my bag. I'll take this out and it's got a case already on it and just leave it in my bag as such. I would definitely say this is more of a nice to have than a need. It's just a, it's just a thing to have it if I want to, you know, sit down, take off the controllers, put it down as a little screen and then play if I'm on a long journey going somewhere. But I'll just carry like this. And the reason why I have no games for it is I don't like to buy physical cartridges for the Nintendo Switch. That goes the same when I play PlayStation. I've got a digital version for a reason because I don't want to have no discs. I just want to be able to move around with the devices easily and still play the games that I want anywhere I am. But I might upgrade to the Steam Deck later on and replace this, but we'll see how it goes. 
Next, we have like a trio of items that are kind of like a, a daily essential for any type of occasion when you're particularly traveling, if you're at an event, wherever it may be. And these are the Vaseline where you can't go wrong just to keep your skin cleanse and not dry there's times where you always need hand sanitizer especially when you're out in public transport great to actually use that and then we got the travel pack millions aftershave which these trio that you can't necessarily beat and this is definitely necessary these don't take up much space in my bag either so it's just a great addition to actually have now this next thing is when you've got big checks to sign you've got big imaginations to draw and you've got big things to even note down this is my pencil. My, my pencil comes in handy at all times, you know, when you've got to even sign an autograph or something like that. Hey, you can't really go wrong with this. You've got the rubber here, you've got the big lead there. To be honest, I don't even know where the sharpener is for this because I don't even know how to actually sharpen this. But for the most part, it's still looking good to go to sign some papers. You've got the plastic rubber cap here to protect it. You can't really go wrong with this, you know. Given that I roll around with so many electronic devices, I need to keep these charged throughout the day. So I've got a universal charging port here to plug various different things and you've got two USB slots at the side as well. And I carry a e-fuel portable charger. It's still lightweight, it don't overheat. It has two USB slots at the top, a lightning cable import, uh, input and a micro input at the side here. It don't really take long to charge my devices, but for the most part, I just have to charge one thing at a time. And we have my long USB-C cable, which charges my Nintendo Switch, my iPad, my iPhone 15 Pro Max. The only thing I need to carry the lightning cable is if I need to, to charge the AirPod Pros. But other than that, this is what will keep my devices alive. Now, when you're ready to be a big tourist, a good thing to have with you is the Quimic. Quimic? Quimic. I don't even know how to really pronounce this, but this is basically a handheld tripod for my iPhone, which if I open it up, you can carry your phone in portrait mode. I can even turn it and hold it in landscape. And if I want to get, you know, like a selfie stick vibe, I can just open it all the way out. And then if I want to put it on the floor, I literally just open it and then plant it down like that. It's very compact, universal for various different occasions. And I've got a little remote as well, so I can just, you know, remotely just capture some things or whatnot. And now last but not least is my Apple AirTag. Given that I have so much things in my bag, I do not want to lose it. That's probably like the last thing I want to do. So I like to keep this hidden away in the bag and just so I know where it is in case I misplace my bag. It just disappears for whatever reason, goes on holiday by itself, whatever it is. I like to carry this in my suitcases, my bigger backpacks, my smaller ones. Anything that is important to me, my Apple AirTag is with them. Now, that is what's in my bag. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video.